Hello everyone, today we're going to be diving into the first Redstone Hex GPU on YouTube, the Render Dragon 101. First off, let's talk about what this is and how it works. So the Render Dragon 101 is what would be called a bitmap GPU. It can place pixels directly to a frame and then send that frame to a serial display by using a unique serial transmitter. For those of you who have seen the video on the FDARFDAT system, you may be wondering why I didn't use that system and instead used serial transmission. While that option is possible, that would put the GPU mostly on the screen side, so each screen would have to have its own GPU. This unit is designed to be completely self-contained, so it will work with any one tick 3x5 serial display. If I chose to use pulse width, I could be able to send larger screen resolutions, but I would have to take into account that each screen could have its own command, and I'd have to build that into this GPU, which would be very, very, very hard to do. Now let's learn how to program the GPU. We'll begin by wiping the display, so that way there is no image currently on it. So if you come over to this buffer right here, you can see that all of these comparators are turned off. Now we have four functions. We have invert to pixel, so basically it knots the input. So if you input a zero, it outputs a 15. If you give it a one, it gives a 14 and so forth for the values of hex. Then we have wipe frame, like I just did earlier. This completely wipes the frame and allows us to draw a new image. The send frame allows us to send the image we've been working on to the display, which is right over there. Finally, we have a direct pixel placement. So this takes your input and puts it directly on the screen. So for example, if let's say we we're going to draw a smiley face, we could place this down and then we can do this. Now I will state that this is actually turning off pixels. And then lastly, we're going to have this pixel be turned off. Then we're going to have this pixel be turned off and this pixel be turned off. Now, if we break this and send the display to the screen, you can see a smiley face comes out. Like I said before, this is actually turning off pixels. So for example, if I were to wipe this display and then resend it, you can see that the display doesn't completely turn off. Instead, all of it turns on. So when you send, say, a pixel, say, send this pixel, and you run the display, you can see that this pixel gets turned off. So how this thing is built is that our first step to have is this 15 red coder. So I got this off of Craftview Masterman who got it from another YouTuber. And basically what it does is it takes any redstone hex input from right here and converts it into a base one slash mono output. Then this gets fed into this buffer. So as you can see, there's just a bunch of droppers with hoppers connected to comparators. So the reason we use comparators and not repeaters is that repeaters cannot accept, repeaters cannot read the value of hoppers, whereas comparators can. Then I have a line of blocks and redstone dust running along the top to lock in this buffer. Now, due to quasi-connectivity, this build is Bedrock exclusive. Once we have that done, these comparators will feed into these torches. So this is the start of our one wide serial transmitter. So as you can see, they're all being powered off. And if I were to break this line, they'd all be powered on. Except for this one, because this one is set right here. Once that's done, each of these runs into a block. So as you can see, this piece of dust runs into this block, which goes into a repeater. So this acts as our serial transmission. So it starts down here and works its way all over across the top and out to this one, which is the output. Then we have a three by one and this. So this is connected to a one tick redstone pulse. So as you can see, the redstone pulse, if I were to give this a signal strength, you can see that it takes one tick to flash and the image is sent along that line. Then next is our sort of ALU type unit. So it's kind of hard to see in here, so I'll just go ahead and build it out for you. So we have this, which is our output, which feeds into the red coder. So if you look right over here, you can see that we have that, which is the output. Then we have these two comparators, both on subtraction mode. 
This is our invert pixel. So as you can see, we have that. So if I were to give this a 15, the output would be zero. And this is our direct pixel. And then we just have two redstone dusts for controlling. Other than that, we have some more control lines and basically just wiring connected from this decoder right here. Another design that I got from Crafty Masterman. And they just connect to individual functions. So as you can see, the one function connects to the invert pixel output. The line two goes along this to the wipe display. So as you can see, if I were to break this, this has been cleared and now it's preserved. The third line runs along here and goes to the one tick redstone pulse, which allows our serial display to send its frame to the display. So if I were to break this line right here, you can see that the display is getting sent over to the screen. And then lastly, our fourth input right here goes to direct pixel placement. Like I stated earlier, there will be a world download link in the description for you to mess around with. If you need further help with this, then check out my Discord server. The link to that will also be in the description below. So we have our GPU, but what about this display? Well, I'll explain that to you, but we've run out of time for today's video. So I guess I'll have to see you in the next one.